Okay, here we go. Chaparral walk around. Coming in here down the dock. Jump inside. Show you what's going on there and then do a full walk around on the outside. So, hope the light it works here. Starting from the back of the boat. Um, see we've got a nice size swim deck here. Pop-up cleats that I was talking about. Up and down so that when they're down people aren't getting hurt on them. Here you've got a ladder. Looks like it's shadowy. Ladder that hangs down off the swim deck. Stores up nicely. This is my favorite spot on the boat. Um, this nice rear facing seat when you're just chilling out. God, I don't want to fall off the back of this thing. Uh, when you're just chilling out, this is where I sit. Got a couple drink holders, one on each side. When you need more drink, got a nice big cooler with a drain built in. Holds a, several big bags of ice and lots of stuff. Um, got a control for your outboard trim up, trim down, so when you're trailering it, it's just a convenient place to uh, be able to access that without climbing up in the boat. Also have a remote for your... Uh, for your stereo system. Um, here you have water, shower, uh, fresh water shower. Works just like that. I'll show you. Up in the front, there's nothing up front. Um, all right, so coming into the back of the boat, it does have this lift up and swing in gate. So if you got uh, little kids or a little dog, kind of keeps them inside or at least makes them have to jump over it if they want to get out. Um, everything here we have is kind of the sink with trash, which is convenient. Underneath, you have, I have my bumper, but just the lighting here. One of the control panels here at your master power, and then a couple of key breakers. Trash can. I put a bigger trash can in there, um, just more convenient. It also comes with a, uh, a pump for air pump for your uh, inflatables. Um, okay, facing the back of the boat, we have uh, seating, L-shaped seating, vinyl's in perfect shape. That is for the uh, bracket that holds the table, and also a drain, drain back there, so wet people dripping, everything actually gets outside the boat. Um, this is storage, I always keep a set of jumper cables in there. A spare belt that metal thing is the bracket for the uh, for the table and prop tools just in case kind of that kind of prepared guy um, and football of course the corner is another built-in cooler with the drain good size um, holds another couple big bags of ice and lots of drinks uh, while we're back here, let's go ahead and take a look at the engine. Pull it up. There's your Merc Cruiser. Five liter. Um, battery. There's your auxiliary connect, or kinetic rather, uh, auxiliary battery for the audio system. Uh, you can see the hoses for that's the freshwater shower, that metal coil hose. Cable for the audio for the remote. Uh, you can see your perfect pass. Is right there. Just connect it to your throttle control there. Um, what else? What else? What else? Uh, give you a look down this way. So there's your depth finder. There's an auto bilge that actually bypasses your master switch. So if you do leave it in the water, you can leave your master switch off. And even in the off position, if that little white floater there um, floats high enough. It kicks on the bilge. Let's see. All right, let's put that down. Swing around here. There's some of your JL speakers. Here is your swiveling seats with the flip up bolster. So if you want to sit up a little higher, it does make that nice. Uh, cup holders, of course. Here is what used to be the head which I've just put some little uh, suction cup hooks things here that make it convenient to hang ropes or whatnot. Um, that's the little bracket there. There is another bracket. Uh, it does have a drain. Um, 
there is another bracket. And to be honest, I don't know where that is. That's if you wanted to put the porta potty back in. I actually thought I had removed both of those, but I usually have the, the throwable that's required by law and some extra life jackets just kind of in the bottom of that thing, and then I put other stuff that I get to more frequently. Um, all right, captain's chair, same story. Kind of show you it. It does pivot down and up. You can see that the vinyl is perfect because that's how I take care of things. In the up position. Let you look. This is kind of messy down here. I've got my tie lines and my audio input for iPhone. Um, this does have the floatable remote that I just kind of stick that inside my swim trunks. A little floaty thing and then this black part hangs outside. I can control the boat audio from about 100 feet away if you're floating on a noodle or whatever. Your throttle. Throw my ropes over there. Throttle, another speaker. There's your dash. You can see. Get a good look at everything. Not anywhere that you can see, even on the steering wheel. Even on where your arm would sit. I usually throw a towel or something down. So I was kind of giving you a good view here. Windows are tinted because it looks way cooler that way. Um, this opens up to form a solid barrier in conjunction with the glass that flips back this way locks into place that makes a very effective wind barrier yeah there's a little bit of, of a gap there but boy on a cold morning or cold evening that stops the majority of the wind so there's your clarion head got a nice size subwoofer JL oh, there's your main breaker panel there there's the storage location for the table what is that oh that is another piece of canvas that actually snaps into place along here so that if you've got a puppy or something that you want to keep while you're tied up you can snap this into place and it keeps them from going in there they think of everything all right uh so that's the uh jl 905 uh oh, there, amplifier um 12 inch sub 12 inch? 12 inch? 15 inch? I don't know what that is. I think it's a 12 inch. Uh, but it's not a thumper metal boat pieces sub. It just rounds out the sound and makes it, like I said, more that theater quality. So up to the front of the boat, there's another um, spot where you put that angle bracket that holds the table so you can stick it in the front or the back. Um, here is your bow area, more JL speakers, cup holders. Gonna come along here. All of the, uh, the stuff you see here, it's just dirt. It needs to be ugh. It needs to be wiped down a little bit. The boat sits out. You can see that that goes away with a little spit and a little rub. Uh, so just as you're looking at the boat, it was nice and spotless when I took photos of it. But anybody knows how it is. Anything sits outside doesn't stay clean forever. Um, so here is another 